It's AJ with Dad Jobs. I'm actually in the process of picking a new head trimmer and blower combo that I'm going to be using around my house. So I figured I would tell you why I'm gonna pick what I pick and show you how it performs and let you know what uh, my experience is with trimmer and blower combos. So I'm going into Home Depot now and I'll show you what I'm gonna pick. Okay guys, so this is the power tools section. You have Makita, Ryobi has a big section. You have Milwaukee and DeWalt. But I have gone with Ryobi and I've bit the bullet and I am currently a full on Ryobi user. They have so many different options for their tools and lawn tools and power tools and everything else that and so far i'm very satisfied it is time to get a new trimmer and blower combo and there's a few different options for us here this is the first one it is the regular 10 inch trimmer and blower combo for 119 dollars there is the 13 inch the trimmer and blower combo for 229 and i'll tell you the differences and then there is the 13 inch brushless so a little bit more power for 299 and these are all the 18 volt one plus hp powered uh ryobi tools so this is your normal 18 volt battery pack and there is a 40 volt section that is bigger is more powerful and uh, you could probably even call it a little bit more professional. Um, so there is that version and you are at 369 for a trimmer blower combo. And so there is upgrades available, but I have a little half acre lot in Youngstown and I'm going to be choosing the middle tier of the Ryobi one 18 volt cordless blower and trimmer combo kit. Mainly you can see that 13 inch two speed switch it does have a uh, variable speed a pivoting head which i'm interested to see how that's going to work because it's a little different than the one i currently use and it has a 280 cfm jet fan blower 40 percent more power and it does have an automatic feed 0.080 line and it comes with a four ampere hour battery and charger just so you know the it is a 10 inch trimmer lightweight rotating shaft 200 cfm blower compact design i actually got one of these in a full-on like 10 piece kit and i did not like this the cheapness of this of the way that the plastic was and the way that this root rotated to give you the trimmer and it when you kind of went side to side it just kind of literally flapped a little bit so i did not it wasn't for me you know it probably get the job done for you but you're at 200 there and 280 here so that's an 80 jet fan power difference then you get about 70 more with the brushless so this is 350 cfm and again 13 inch one and a half times more power twist to edge which the twist on this one i believe is is it here i believe and um, again, two speed switch, 75% more power, more power, longer runtime, longer motor life. Um, this is a little bit more compact, but I guess it provides more power. Also comes with a four ampere hour and charger. You could go with this one, but I just don't know if I need to spend the extra $70 here. And I also kind of am interested to see how this trimmer head spins and how it works out. So I'm going to take it home use it for a while let you guys know what i think what's the pros and cons we'll go from there it's actually pretty cool i actually have a sample of each trimmer here this one's loose but these ones are zip tied but you can see this is the one with the the one that i'll be getting step on it for edging and it'll twist and then you have the brushless here Got the metal pole button, a little bit more heavy duty. This is the <clears throat> cheaper trimmer, the one that has pretty much all plastic. So 
you can see this is how you twist it. You push these buttons in and it turns the head so you can trim such as this. But the issue I had was when you go like this, like go side to side, you feel it moving in this joint here. It doesn't feel very secure. That's why I didn't keep this one when I got it from the big set of 10 tools and sold it and now ready to upgrade. Many months later. Okay guys, so I've had about a few months to really give these Ryobi 18 volt, one plus lawn trimmer and blower combo a try. This is not the brushless, that's like the next step up, but this is also not the cheaper version of the 18 volt one plus where the trimmer is completely plastic and there's a good chunk of power difference between blowers. So to answer the question, do you need the brushless power to get through your yard? I'm gonna try and give you as much feedback as I can about these two tools, their performance and the situation I use at our house to kind of gauge where you would need to be. I have about a half acre yard. This is our backyard. Uh, it does have a hill up the top and you know, there's a good amount of grass here to maintain. So I was a little concerned about whether or not I should go to the brushless 18 volt one plus set um, or even I considered doing the 40 volt which is another upgrade completely different set which I know works very very well I know someone who has them and loves them but in terms of these tools I went with the middle of the road and I'll let you know what I think and how they have performed for me so that you can make the best decision you can for yourself for a little half acre yard front and back this trimmer I've actually grown to really like. There's a handful of features that I like that were much better than the, uh, I guess the first level version of the trimmer blower combo. This one is very sturdy, very strong. You know, there's very little movement in terms of like going back and forth uh, with strokes. It does have a, a length adjustment knob here that is generally pretty easy. The handle is a lot better. The other one has just a little knob that you can hold on to. Brushless has a similar big handle that you know is, is very comparable. This one does have an adjustment, has the ability to adjust your placement so you can feel what's comfortable for you. I like mine a little bit farther down. I don't know, if, but generally a, a hold of this level, I feel like I get a little bit more control and I like it tilted a little bit more down, I guess, instead of up here. So I don't feel like I'm like this. So this at least was good for me and I've never had to readjust this. This actually, I don't know, it's very sturdy and strong. It does have a nice easy screw on, screw off to tighten it and it holds its position. I've never had to move it. It's actually really, really good. Happy with this. So there's a high and low power switch easy to use i generally just keep it on high but if you're trying to utilize as much battery as possible or if your th yard's not as thick you can switch it down to the low gear okay so there's actually some instructions right here on the actual head that says release trigger to advance the string whenever you release this it releases about a quarter of an inch if you're doing an edge around a hard surface you could lose some length pretty quick and maybe only have a couple inches and to get it back to like four, five, six inches, you might actually have to do this like this. Let go. And you can hear it's at the length that's gonna start cutting it. See, hear that? Now it's really getting long and it's gonna start cutting. That'll release a quarter of an inch, especially if you have it spooled correctly. So to do it multiple times, you just really have to like, up oh, there, cut. Up, oh, and there you cut. You have to release this trigger to advance the string and I'll show you if you run out of string you could either go and buy like a spool from Home Depot or Amazon or wherever and get spools that are already spooled in the correct direction and the correct orientation or whatever to get your automatic feed to work properly or I'm gonna link to the video I guess it would be up here if you want to learn about how to re-spool the trimmer string yourself 
then click up here. It actually works very well. You get about a quarter inch to a half an inch. Sometimes I think it's a little longer. Either which way, works pretty well and uh, does a good cutting job. So, a couple things about the trimmer head. It's got a nice guard. It's got a nice 13 inch cutting diameter. When you buy it, this cutting blade for your string is actually 180 degrees rotated. All it is is one screw. You unscrew it, flip it, out to this side and you get an extra inch here and an extra inch here and now you got 13 inches. You have more power and more cutting ability with 13 inches than 11. Um, generally the string edge goes faster and is going to have more power the farther you get away from the center of the rotating head. So that is just typical physics I guess. So a couple things about it now you know I've gotten it pretty dirty already in just a few months. The one thing that's a little bit awkward about this one, a lot of people, you know, you'll have a, a the ability to rotate this top piece of the trimmer and your head will go this way and you'll be able to walk this way with the cutting edge going like this. So like circling like this and cutting straight down. One thing about this one is when you hit the button and it works pretty well, it loosens the head and you can use the ground to pretty much just lock it into place that this one, the cutting edge is actually parallel with the shaft of the cutter, of the trimmer, instead of perpendicular where the cutting would be this way. Now it's actually this way and it's parallel with the uh, trimmer. I'll show you here by cutting over to uh, some action shots of me utilizing it. You do actually have to walk sideways like this and um, you can either walk kind of straight and like at a side, or you can literally like side shuffle and walk sideways as you cut this way. It took me a little bit to get used to it. Actually, that was a negative for me initially, but now I'm used to it and I think it actually is fine. I don't have an issue with it. I'm able to nicely see the edge that I'm cutting as I'm looking over it and walking across the line and getting a nice edge with my trimmer. So. And it does have the wheel on the bottom to kind of give you the ability to just lay it on the concrete and run it along your driveway or your uh, street edge. So you can do it that way and it'll, it'll cut really nicely. And then how you get it back over to the flat is you just hit the pedal again and use the ground to kind of like lock it into place pretty easy. So I don't think that that's no longer a negative. Some people might look at it as something to get used to and will probably deter them from actually purchasing this set and this trimmer. I took a chance with it and I'm actually still pretty happy with it. That was one thing I was iffy on but no longer an issue, no longer a negative in my book. And the weight is nicely balanced especially when you hold it here. The battery obviously provides a little bit of good counterweight and the head, of, head has some good weight to kind of keep it down. So honestly, it's very, very nice tool. I'm enjoying it. Well done Ryobi for this one so far. All right, so this is actually going to be a first for Dad Jobs DIY. The review process here and what we're going to discuss in terms of all the different aspects of the product, we're gonna actually give you guys a rating. We're gonna give this product set of the trimmer and blower combo a rating out of five hammers. So first, we're going to do the look and presentation. Next we're going to do the features and all the capabilities of the product. Next we're going to do the actual performance. How well does it get the job done? Fourth we're going to do value and we're going to give it a rating of a hammer or a half hammer or no hammers. And then fifth is going to be a wild card. I think for this one we're going to utilize and say that it is the power factor. So we're going to use it as the power factor. We're going to give it how many out of five hammers? More power. Arr, arr, arr. Okay. All right, so next is the blower. So this is the 18 volt Ryobi P21081 VNM 18 volt blower. And I'll give you some more specifics here on the power, how it compares to the lower end version and the higher end version as well as the 40 volt version. So the 40 volt is that complete separate one. All right, so for the blower, got a nice ergonomic handle, nice long tube. It looks really cool. It's got this clear part that has like a jet engine look into it. Anyways, here's how it sounds. 
I mean, there's actually a little kick when you hit it. So, I like it. It's very good power, and it's been getting the job done for us. I'm gonna cut over to some action shots of blowing different things off on the driveway and the patio. Um, you know, it probably could do very well for a leafy yard. Um, like if you got a lot of trees, a lot of leaves, this would definitely work pretty well, but I'd probably say you're gonna need some batteries. It can go through battery power pretty quick. Um, I mean, like, I don't know, decently quick. Um, but, you know, if you're just holding down full power, and the other thing is, if you're just holding down full power, it can run the juice pretty quick and run out. But pretty nicely here, you actually don't have to go all the way down and do full power the whole time. You could do like a half power, and as you, so it's got different levels. That's actually pretty nice. And I've utilized it in different scenarios. And you can hear it getting louder and blowing more air. So that's actually a really nice feature. Overall, it doesn't really need clean. It's got a cool look. It does have a little notch here if you wanted to utilize like a nail. I actually use a nail kind of crazily. It'd be nice if they had maybe just another little hook of some sort that you could hook it on to a rack in your garage. But I use this little notch here to hold it on a nail. It does hold it nicely and it works. But that's one thing that probably could have been an addition. Overall, very solid. So that is the blower. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's good, good power and it looks cool. Well done. Double checked in the manual, but it does have a hundred mile per hour uh, wind volume or air volume and then 280 CFM. So that's how you would measure it against uh, some of the uh, alternatives and So far the 280 has been working pretty well for what we need a lot better than the little black and decker I was using pr prior to getting these all right guys. Let's talk about how does it measure up? And what kind of rating we're gonna give it first? We're gonna talk about the style and the presentation. I don't know. Maybe it's my geek side and my Ninja Turtle passion, but I've loved the green of the Ryobi ever since they've changed over to it. It's eye-catching. Uh, they do have like over 200 tools, I believe, that go with this 18 volt one plus system. I have a lot of their power tools. And I will say that that was a factor in me choosing to go with Ryobi for my lawn tools. Just less batteries I gotta have charging on the charging rack. So in terms of the style, I love the green and the gray and the black the clearness of the blower, you know, even just how the handles look and everything. Overall, I'm going to give it a big one hammer for the style and presentation. For the features, I'm going to give it a full one hammer, thumbs up. Again, a little bit of questioning initially on how the trimmer head uh, turns parallel to the shaft instead of perpendicular when you're doing a trimming 90 degree angle. I've liked it, I've gotten used to it, and I think it's fine. You know, it might not be for you, maybe, but I think you'd get used to it if you gave it a shot. Handle, power of the blower, the adjustability of the power coming out of the blower, the automatic feed on the trimmer, the easeability of turning the head. And one thing I didn't really talk about, but turning the head is just that foot pedal instead of having to use your hand and trying to push a button and turn it this way. I like that as easeability. The This handle is very sturdy and comfortable and the triggers are very user friendly and do a good job. So, And even the automatic feed hasn't been giving me trouble yet, which that's one thing that almost always goes crazy and people just have issues with. But so far, one big hammer thumbs up for those, for the features of the, of the trimmer blower combo. The performance. So this is one thing that I will say, I'm gonna give it a full hammer. So we're at three full hammers so far for the trimmer and blower combo. It does come with one battery and one charger. It is sufficient for my half acre yard. I am able to do all the trimming and do blowing with this one battery, especially if it's not super long. I have had some super long days, especially in the spring here, where it was working hard to get through everything. And by the end, I was probably down to one bar out of the four. You know, there's four lighted bars on the battery that tell you how much juice is left. And I've been down to one bar left. And I will say, when the blower is working on a battery with, you know, one or two bars, 
versus four bars, there is a difference. The performance, it can get the job done and it will be sufficient. But if you got the 18 volt one plus system and you have any other batteries, it would be ideal just in case. And honestly, I have three of these four ampere hour batteries and two of the two ampere hours and the two four hour batteries, I'm able to just have two on the chargers. I have two chargers and I'm able to just have them charging at all times. And uh, when I'm done with the trimmer, I take the battery out and put it on the charger and then pull the fresh battery onto the blower, just is giving you that extra juice to get the job done. Two and four. So it's definitely a nice benefit to have. And if you have these, it's very likely you've probably already invested in some other power tools or an extra battery. And having that extra battery is a nice benefit, but it can get the job done with one. So in terms of uh, performance, full th hammer thumbs up. Okay, in terms of value, I'm gonna give it a full hammer thumbs up. I think that it has done a good job for the few months I've been using it and it definitely was a super upgrade to what I was using. It was $239 or $230, $229.99 and the lower end was $120 and the upper end was uh, $299, $300. So it's about $70 more to get the brushless and it's about $110 more over the lower level. So it's a little bit more than halfway over uh, the cheapest model or between the cheapest model and the highest model. The value and the performance and the features that this one had definitely was $110 more value than the cheap model. The value for all those different features that we had discussed, definitely a big full hammer. And in terms of getting up to the brushless, uh, so it's $70 more, you're getting um, 350 CFM versus the 280 of this blower. So I guess percentage wise, you're getting like, so 70, you're getting like a quarter more power, but you're paying a little over a third more in terms of the cost. And then the trimmer, you're probably getting a little bit more power, but hard, again, it's, it's not really measured, so it's hard to say but there was a feature difference in terms of the head and having that parallel head and the easeability of the pedal for turning the head when you're trying to do a 90 degree cut. So there's a couple things that are preferential, but overall I'm gonna say that it gets a full hammer, thumbs up uh, for the value of this set at $230. And if you can get a, um, if you get some Home Depot gift cards or if you get a, get it on sale, then obviously kudos to you guys there, uh, definitely worth it. And then finally, the fifth variable we're gonna talk about is power. So I love the power that these have. Um, with the four ampere hour, hour battery that it, get, get, um, that it comes with, the ability to cut through high grass and flow a lot of stuff pretty well, does a great job for the power. The only thing there is the four ampere hour probably does my half acre yard and that's about it um, if you're only got one. So if you're gonna have two batteries, this is good. But with what it comes with, I'm gonna give it a half hammer just because it's very much more ideal to get a secondary battery. All right, overall, that is a four and a half hammer uh, product review for and rating for the trimmer and blower combo from Ryobi and it's the mid-tier version and for my half acre yard and over here in Ohio it does a great job all right guys well if you have any questions let me know in the comments um, I'd be happy to provide some extra insight if you have any questions I can look things up or get to another little video or a short or something for you this is definitely a worthy half acre set for a trimmer and blower combo that I would highly recommend. So thank you for watching. 
please like and subscribe. We are doing tons of DIY videos, trying to provide great content for you guys. Simple stuff, in-depth stuff, fun stuff. Thank you to all the dads, moms, and DIYers out there for your support. Greatly appreciate it. Without your support and subscriptions, we wouldn't be able to do all these co this content. Please, again, leave us a comment if this helped you make a decision on the Ryobi trimmer and blower set. Also, down in the description, you'll find links to this set specifically and a couple other things like a trimmer wire that I have and if you again if you need to know how to re-spool the trimmer head then check out the video um, that we have for that. Again this is AJ from Dad Jobs DIY. You can do it now get to it. We'll see you guys next time.